Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. This video is about uncommon prepper items. Items you might need, but don't know it yet. But first off, if you guys like the channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, you know guys know, do the things. And check out the links in the description box. You got Amazon Storefront, a lot of good stuff there. Patreon, thank you to my patrons. I love you guys, you guys are such a blessing. Thank you. So, unusual preps, or random preps, odd preps, off the wall preps, whatever you want to call it. Some of the things I wrote down a list here, keep my mind on track. Uh, first thing is foot powder, because you got to keep your feet dry. You got to take care of your feet. Anybody that's my boots on the ground, um, military environment knows that taking care of your feet is vital. Along with that, I'll just throw in socks. I don't have that written down, but socks. Merino wool, 70% or better. Merino wool. Even in the summertime, they keep your feet, you know, they don't get too hot. I have hot feet, and I still wear Merino wool socks and my Moab, my Merrill Moab vents vents so they're not insulated and they're not Gore-Tex so my feet can breathe better. Um, next thing is is uh, anti-chafing stuff like if you're the area between your thighs chafe when you're out hiking, marching, uh, rucking, patrolling, gardening, all those things. So some people use some of that like the, uh, the zinc oxide baby stuff or baby butts. Some pipe people use um, KY jelly but a good thing I've heard some guys in the military I knew they use duct tape. They just put duct tape on the inside of their thighs and both thighs. And hey, I guess it worked because they continue to use it and it worked really well for them. I have not personally used that, but I guess it worked for them. So hey, I'll throw that in there. Another one is calamine lotion for bees, you know, for stings, for bites, for, um, you know, from um, uh, vegetation or from animals, um, stuff like that. So that's a really good thing to have. Uh, let me see. What's another one? Honey. I know I talk about honey, you know, on other, for other methods and for sweeteners and stuff like that as the ultimate prep because it has antibacterial properties and it'll last forever. So, but you can use that, you can put that on a wound, you can put that on a sting, a bite, a cut, anything like that, and it'll help protect it. It has antimicrobial, antibacterial properties, and it will just help it feel better. Um, so what are some other things? Uh, when you're out there on post, LPOP, listening post, observation post, fixed fighting post, stuff like that. You don't want to, you know, if you're by yourself, you don't want to call a relief every time you have to go to the bathroom or something like that. If you just have to go pee if you're a guy. So what are some things you can do? Or if you're out patrolling and stuff like that in different environments, here are some options like pee bags. Keep a pee bag, a pee bottle, an empty bottle, like a Gatorade bottle or something like that to pee into. Um, you can also wear Depends. Don't laugh. Guys do it. You know, astronauts do it, so it may be an option depending on who you are and what you know what you are. That may be a better option for women. I'm not sure. I'm not a woman, so I can't speak to that. But it might be. Um, deodorant, non-scented deodorant, not um, um, antiperspirant. Because antiperspirant has those like uh, all the aluminum stuff and it clogs your pores and causes all kinds of problems. But unscented deodorant, because you don't want your scent signature. You don't want to be wearing a bunch of frou-frou smelling stuff in an SHTF environment, and giving away your location, and people smell where you are. Um, another thing is, I just thought of, was a bucket toilet seat sold in camping sections. It just goes right on the top of like a five gallon, seven gallon, six gallon bucket, whatever, and it's a toilet seat with a lid. And it, you just sit on that, sit on, you can put in a trash bag in it, and you can sit on that and go take, do your business. Hey, we did it up at our cabin, our bug out location for a lot, you know, we don't have a, a bathroom in the winter time. We had a biological toilet, but it was in a building. It was like 50, 100 feet away from the main cabin. When it's snowing and negative 18 degrees outside, we didn't want to make that trip. So we just peed or pooped in a bucket, wrap it up, throw it on the porch. It freezes in the morning and get rid of it. Um, inner tubes also very useful, like bicycle inner tubes. You can use them for making slingshots. You can use them for making um, bows. Uh, bow strings. I'm not saying it's the best option. I'm not a master bower, bower or anything like that. But boyer, I guess, is the ter term. But it can be used for a lot of different things. Slingshots, um, different things. So um, inner tubes, I'll throw in there. And last but not least, I'll throw in funnels because you never know when you're going to have to move, you know, liquid from one container to another one. And funnels help. You know, they might make a difference. They might make your life easier for you. So those are just some random things that uh, I don't hear people talking about too often. I like to think outside the box. I like to think you could get you guys headed down um, some different paths. Um, and I really want you guys to think for yourselves. 
I really want to empower you guys to think for yourselves what applies in your situation may not apply in my situation or my area of operations, where I live. So think about what applies to you, what works best for you, and think up unique, um, outside-the-box ideas, things like this, uh, and things that have dual purposes. You always want to have dual purposes for your items and your preps, so then you, don't have, you have to prep less um, if something can cover a dual purpose. So prep a little every day, prep it a peace of mind out of fear, and work on your fitness, please. Work out, exercise. And tell me in the comments below, uh, if you want to, what do you do? What did you do today for fitness? What have you been doing? Um, I like to hear about that, I really do, because I want you guys to be fit and capable. You don't have to be, you know, I've said before, you don't have to be a, a ultra marathon or a triathlete or anything like that. Just work on your fitness. Any increase in your fitness is better. Uh, for your overall health, just in general life. There's nothing to do with being a prepper. This has to do with being a good person, having a good life. So I love you guys, and blessings to you and yours.